In this project, we're going to be building a user authentication system using Node along with a bunch of other modules. So Passport is the main module that's going to take care of the authentication, uh, the login, the registration, and all that. And we're going to be using Bcrypt to hash passwords. We're going to use MongoJS to communicate with MongoDB. We're going to use Express Messages for flash, flash messaging. We're going to use Express Validator to validate input. And we're going to use EJS for our template engine. All right, so let's take a look at the app. You'll see that I'm at localhost 3000 users slash login. If I try to go to just localhost 3000, it just boots us back here because it's protected. You have to be logged in. So what we can do is click register and we get this registration form. And we do have form validation. So you'll see if I just put whatever in these fields and click login, see that email must be valid, which it isn't, and passwords do not match. All right, so now let's fill it out correctly. So email username, we'll just say John. All right, so we'll go ahead and register. So now it says you may, you're now registered and you may log in. So let's go ahead and put in our login. So we'll say John, one, two, three, four, log in and it redirects us to the index page and you can see we can also access user information all right and then we have a logout link up here if we click that it'll log us back out all right so it seems very simple but there's actually quite a bit of code quite a bit of uh, modules that we'll be using that uh, that will be useful to you throughout your uh, career as a developer so what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, create our folder and create our package.json file. All right, so I'm going to just snap this over to the side and let's open our editor. Okay, so we're going to now I do have MongoDB installed. If you don't have it installed, go to Mong, I believe it's mongodb.com or org. Just get that set up. We do have a uh, um, a section dedicated to MongoDB in the database part of this course. All right, so let's create a folder. Um, let's see, where do I want to put this? Let's go in C drive and projects. And I'm going to create a folder here called, we're just going to call it Passport App. All right, and we're going to head to that in the command prompt. All right, and let's go ahead and run npm init. That'll create the package.json file for us. I'm gonna say app.js for the entry point. All right, so that created package.json. I'm gonna open this in my editor because we're gonna create quite a bit, uh, quite a few files. All right, so if we open that up, we just have our information we just added. Now we have a lot of modules to add, so we're gonna go over and run npm install and just put all of these modules on the same line, okay? So we're gonna need ex um, Express, we're gonna need MongoJS, uh, what else? We're gonna need let me just check EJS for our templates. Express messages. Express validator. Express session. Connect flash. And what else? Passport. And we also want passport local. Okay, Passport actually allows um, many different methods to authenticate. You can use local like we're going to do, which is just a local database. Um, there's also a Passport Twitter where you can use Twitter logins, uh, Passport 
Facebook, Gmail, all kinds of different um, authentication methods. But we're just going to stick to local. Okay, we're also going to need body parser. And I think that should be it. Yeah, that should be it. So let's say dash dash save. And we'll run that. Okay, that'll get everything installed. All right, now if we look over to our package.json file, you can see all of the different modules and their versions. Oh, actually, we need bcrypt too. So we'll say npm install. Now, bcrypt itself actually has quite a few dependencies. Um, so we're not going to use bcrypt. We're going to use bcrypt.js, which is just a fully, it's all in JavaScript, and it's much easier to work with. And then I also want Bootstrap. Okay, we're going to use Bootstrap, and you can install it through NPM. Um, of course, you can use the CDN or however. You can use Bower, but we'll use NPM just to kind of keep everything uh, within the node modules. All right, so let's say dash dash save. And there we go. So those should get added here, and we're all set. Now what we're going to do is create our app.js file. And you can see we have a lot of modules, so we have a lot of middleware to set up. All right, so first of all, let's just include everything up here. And I'm going to paste this in to just save on time a little bit. So we have Express, we have the, the Core Path module, the Express Validator, Express Session, Passport. Um, this is the local strategy from Passport that we're using. Body Parser and Flash. Okay, Flash and Express Messages work together. Um, we'll be adding that middleware in a second. All right, and Express Messages, what it does is basically allows us to have things like this, to say we're logged in, logged out, and so on. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to break our routes up into two different sections. We're going to have an index and users. Okay, index will represent the home page, the page that you have to be logged in for, and then users will have the registration and the login and all that. So let's go ahead and create a variable for index, which I'm going to call routes. So we'll say require, and that'll be dot slash. We're going to have a folder called routes and a file called index. Okay, we're also going to have our users. All right, so now let's create our app variable. I'm just going to set that to express. And we're going to set up our view engine, which is EJS. So first we'll set the view folder. So we're going to set the view folder to views. And then we need to set the view engine, which will be EJS. All right, so let's also set a static folder. dot join okay and the static folder is going to be called public all right let's set up the body parser middleware and I'm just going to paste this in just a couple lines and I'm going to widen this a little bit all right so now we're going to need our express session middleware I'm going to grab that real quick. Okay, and if you go to the Express Session documentation, you should see this stuff. That's where I'm getting it from. All right, if we go down to uh, right here. Okay, so you can see we're just setting up standard middleware. <laughs> Nothing special, it's just kind of default functionality. All right, now uh, Passport also has a couple lines of middleware we're going to add. 
Okay, so we want to call dot initialize and dot session. And then we have the express validator. So if you want to check that out. This is the documentation for that. Okay, it gives us the usage, which we'll get to later on. But right now we just want this middleware. That's what I'm pasting in now. All right. Now we want the connect flash middleware. And like I said, connect flash works with express messages. So what we're doing here is basically setting a global variable that's going to hold our messages. All right. So we'll use that later on in the templates. Now what we want to do is define our routes to those two um, fold files that I specified index and users. So app dot use and this is going to be slash represent the home page routes and then we'll have slash users users. Okay, and then we just want to call app dot listen so that we can run the server. We'll say port 3000. And let's just do a console log. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Now, if we try and run the server now, it's going to give us an error because we haven't created these routes um, and we also haven't created the views folder. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say new folder routes and inside routes, we're going to create a file called index.js and also users.js. All right, so let's open up index and we're going to first bring in express. Okay, because we want to use the express router. So we'll say var router equals express dot router. Okay, so our route is going to be router dot get. Okay, because it's for a get request and slash, which will be the home page. Okay, then we'll put a function that's going to take in a request and response. And for right now, we're just going to say res dot send index all right and we have to make this accessible to other files so we're going to say module dot exports equals router all right let's go ahead and copy that and save this and then in users we'll paste that in okay and we're just going to change this to login and change that to login and then we're also going to have a register route Okay, I'm just going to put comments here. So this is the login page and it's a get request because we're also going to have post requests. So I'm going to label them. This is register page get. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And let's create the views folder. And we'll try to run our app. So let's see, we're going to go right in here and actually you know what we're going to do is we're, I want you to install node mon which is uh, it'll allow us to run our application and not have to restart it whenever we say whenever we change something all right so you just want to run npm install node mon dash g that'll install it globally and then what we'll do is go to our package.json file and we'll just set a script here we don't need this test, so I'm going to change that to start. And then I'm just going to get rid of that, and we're going to say node mon. So now we'll be able to run npm start, and it'll run our application. Uh, what's this? Oh, I already have port 3000 being used. Let me just shut that off real quick. I have another server running. 
All right, let's try that again. Okay, so it's running on port 3000. So now we'll go to localhost 3000 and we get our index. Okay, and that's coming from right here. We should also be able to go to slash users slash login as well as users slash register. All right, good. So far, so good. I think I'm going to stop the video here now that we have our basic configuration set up. In the next video, we'll start to create our views with EJS and we'll go on from there to install Passport and the rest of our modules.